Tak, ale mizeria była mogę w Polsce. To jest moja mama, to jest moja babcia. Z owieczką. Z owieczką. Tak. A może powiesz o tym, jak babcia o zdjęciach. Mhm. No tak, tak, ze zdjęciami było w ogóle, znaczy ja mam niewiele zdjęć. Mała zdjęcia, na których była z ogólną głową i w perucze. I te zdjęcia zniknęły. Moja nie. babcia trzymała zdjęcia w pralce i w siatce plastikowej to zdjęcia w pralce. I że to było zupełnie jakby, ja pamiętam cały to, wiesz, cały moje dzieciństwo, to było normalne. Jedno mi mówię, mamo, tam przecież wszyscy, babciu powiedz prawdę, nie? Babciu, to ty żeś mówiła do niej, babciu powiedz, przecież my, ty chciałeś te zdjęcia, żeby wsiąść i mama powiedziała, że to nie są zdjęcia, o których chcemy pamiętać. Dopiero się przed śmiercią przyznała, że... Tak, tak. And since 1989, thousands and thousands of Poles have discovered they really have Jewish roots. But the next question is, so what? What do you do with it? What do you do when you're 18 years old and then you discover you're Jewish? And that's really what the Jewish community of Poland is about today. I think there is no places that you can attend and you have to create them. It's very exciting. We feel like pioneers at the beginning of Israel. The question is what will happen to people like me, people who have secular identity and want to explore Jewish identity but not uh, in a religious sense. It's still this problem of, of Jewish coming out, let's say. This huge connection to Jewish world and people interested in Jewish life without many Jews around was very strange to me. I remember when I first came here and they were like, oh, who's your favorite Klezmer band? And I was like, I don't know, for me Klezmer is like Fiddler on the Roof, like I'm not, or, oh, what Jewish music do you like? And I'm like, I don't know, Beastie Boys, like what is, Jew, you know, Jewish music? And now you are living as a parasite, ain't it easy living as a parasite? You can make a living of another's life when you are living as a parasite. You can't make any generalizations about why uh, non-Jewish Poles are interested in Jewish culture. There are people who are into Jewish culture here because it speaks to their to their Catholicism. I know people who are into it because it speaks to their idealistic socialism. I know people who are interested in Jewish culture because it resonates with their struggle for queer rights in this country. Here in Europe it's very cool to have like three types of friends, Jewish one, black one and a homosexual one. And if you have them, like, oh yeah, you're cool. It's important to know the history, but if you're shot just death come, that makes no sense. Because the Holocaust, it's not the only part of the Jewish history. Jewish identity in Poland is a responsibility. And so my focus is on what it means to be a Jew in Poland. A place where there is a sort of gap, 50-year gap in Jewish identity. <laughs> The most difficult thing for me is the issue of identity. And it's really heavy on my heart because I don't know what to do with this. Yeah, but we will see.